I'm Mila, Mila Skarova, um, and the director of the gallery, Gazelle Art House. This is today, it, it's kind of an homage to the exhibition that was held exactly 60 years ago, which is quite kind of accidentally all came into place when this show was put together. 60 years from, from the show, This Is Tomorrow, which was held at Whitechapel, introducing um, the independent group, some of whose kind of members are part of this exhibition. For us, it's always kind of important as a gallery to continue questioning and to continue kind of finding links with, uh, with history and with contemporary artists, what their influences are, where they seek their kind of inspiration and, and how does it all kind of tie in regardless of time or, or, or certain decades. It's been very exciting working on this exhibition because of the nature of it, because of again its historical kind of content. It, it is the biggest group exhibition we've done to date. Um, there is a total of eight artists here. Bernard Cohen, John Plum, Magda Cordell, uh, Richard Smith, we've got Archigram, we've got Ian Stevenson, Derek Boschia, and Sir Eduardo Paolozzi, who in one or another have been key in kind of being part of what was known as, I guess, Britain in the 50s, before pop art movement, before op art, and before any kind of um, movement associated with the 60s, 70s came about. So again, quite kind of historic, not historically heavy exhibition necessarily, but definitely perhaps to a certain degree a departure to the exhibitions that we've held in the past. The artworks date back to 1954 and all the way up to 1977, so it's really kind of a wide range of time uh, covered, so that's why it cannot be regarded as a survey, because it would be a different kind of selection of artists if we were to go down the route of yeah, exploring this kind of survey. It's the second time we've held a curatorially similar uh, exhibition, the first of which was just a few months ago, um, uh, called Let There Be Light Revisited, which was again, based on 60s, 70s, but California light and space movement. So that was, in effect, the very first exhibition we've had. The selection of artists that we made, um, we tried to kind of make sure that they're equally kind of represented in the exhibition. So there are about three to four works uh, per artist. It was important to create that link, whether it's aesthetic link or uh, a length by, by the year of creation of these works or, um, or, or by kind of concept matter. and, and providing that all the artists have been quite kind of active on the on the scene at the same time, automatically there is a natural kind of tie-in. In terms of the audience, what I'd like to uh, try and do is to address the audience that are already familiar with this body of work, with these artists, with this time frame, I guess. And then also from the other end is, of course, to introduce a new audience to these artists or again that, that period of time. With this exhibition, I hope it will kind of raise certain questions that would get people kind of talking about it. Most importantly for us is to make sure that it all ties in to the bigger picture, to the bigger kind of curatorial direction of the gallery, which since day one having that kind of contemporary angle. Um, but it's it's just yeah that constant uh, I think relationship between the two that we're trying to explore and encourage a wider engagement with what what it is that we do.